Coping with COVID and In It Together present Wellness Wednesday, brought to you by the Diabetes Advisory Council of South Carolina and DHEC's Division of Diabetes and Heart Disease Management. Coping, Coping with COVID with Trey Taylor. Fight the spread and take a stand against coronavirus. Wear a mask in public. Stay at least six feet apart from others and get tested. Join us and fight the spread. Visit scdheg.gov slash COVID-19. Good Wellness Wednesday afternoon to you. I'm Trey Taylor, and you are watching Coping with COVID, updates on the pandemic and information to help you thrive and survive COVID-19. In It Together, SC and the Diabetes Advisory Council of South Carolina present Wellness Wednesday every Wednesday right here on Coping with COVID. And today, I'm dressed like this because we are talking about fitness. If you want to get fit, if you want to get toned, if you just want to take it up a notch, get get rid of that, uh, what do they call it, the COVID-15 or COVID-50 in some people's cases, this is the show for you. James Patrick is here. He actually joined us. Uh, James was probably on one of the first Coping with COVIDs. That first week, James was, was on, and he's back with us to help you get ready. Like if you have an injury, if you have a mobility challenge, if you are... Uh, of a certain age, James can help you get ready. James Patrick, thank you so much, friend, for joining us today. Happy Wednesday, Trey. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, if you are ready right now and want to kind of align yourself professionally and physically, Tam, Tam B is the lady for you. Tamara Brown joins us and she is going to help you align your health and your wealth. Thank you, beautiful. We appreciate you joining us today. Thank you for having me, Trey. Pleasure to be here. Absolutely. Tam B Fitness, James Patrick, the fitness guru. We're going to talk fitness today on Coping with COVID. So come and join us and uh, move a little bit with us. That's coming up next. But first, your COVID community updates. The longest serving member of the Columbia City Council is not seeking re-election. Sam Davis made the announcement yesterday saying it's time for new blood. Davis has represented District 1, which covers North Main, Earlwood, Broad River, and Harbison since 1981. His accomplishments include growth and investment in business in the North Main area. And there's a scam alert. Officials say beware of anyone contacting you about scheduling the COVID vaccine. It's not real. They're trying to get your money, honey. South Carolina EMD and DHEC says you will have to schedule your own appointment. They will not call you. Now, if you are contacted, hang up and call the Federal Trade Commission, the Department of Consumer Affairs, or the DHEC care line. Finally, DHEC is hiring statewide to help with the COVID response. Now, they need nurses, pharmacists, administrative assistants, clerical investigators, and more. If you're looking for a job, DHEC has plenty of them. Applications are being accepted through this Sunday. Visit governmentjobs.com backslash careers backslash SC for more information and to apply. As a matter of fact, that information will be scrolling throughout the show. So again, if you or someone you know needs a job, please have them to apply at DHEC by this Sunday. SCDHEC has your most up-to-date listings of times, dates, and location for uh, COVID testing in and around South Carolina. Visit scdheck.gov for more information about COVID testing and flu testing, which you really do need to get. Also, visit gogettested.com. You can actually schedule a COVID test for free, and in most cases, you can get your results in less than 48 hours. Check the screen for information throughout the show on organizing a COVID screening at your event or in your community, and in-person COVID screenings are offered by Richland and Clarendon County paramedics. Call 911 if you or someone you know is immobile and needs a COVID screening in your home. The DHEC care line is also available. You see that information. It has information not only on COVID transportation, but also the COVID vaccine locations and times. Plus, the website is listed on the screen, so you can call the DHEC care line and the website for more information on getting your COVID vaccine um, locations and times. Also, Lexington Medical Center is offering COVID vaccines. You see that information on the screen. Also, if you live out that area, you can uh, get a COVID vaccine at Lexington Medical Center. And the VA is also offering COVID vaccinations for vets. Again, you can see that information because right now, of course, as you know, veterans are able to get their vaccination if you're interested. Also, those who are over 70. And if you are caring for someone over 70, 
you can also get your COVID vaccination. Now, a couple of other PSAs I want to remind you of because people are still having some challenging times. The South Carolina Bar Association and SC Legal Services are offering free mortgage and rental information. You see the information on the screen right now. And the City of Columbia continues with their six-month payment plan for water bills. If you are behind or you've got a pretty large water bill, they will uh, split it up in six-month payments. Also, Rashonda Pratt's YouTube channel is up and running. And if you need help virtually virtually learning or working, don't forget to subscribe to her YouTube channel. And finally, the South Carolina Education Association Scholarship is uh, holding scholarships for graduating seniors. Now, the deadline is February 1st. So if uh, you, again, or someone you know needs um, uh, it's a scholarship, it's a $2,500 scholarship for graduating seniors, visit SC Association of Counties, that website, and check for more information and how to apply. SC DHEC um, and In It Together and the uh, Diabetes Advisory Council of South Carolina present Wellness Wednesday every Wednesday here on Coping with COVID. If you want help to manage or prevent diabetes, visit the In It Together website and Facebook page. They actually have a, uh, you can see the information right there. You can actually, they actually have a um, training coming up. Uh, Nancy, Dr. Nancy Richburg, who was on the show last week, has a training coming up in February. So please uh, contact her if you want help managing your diabetes. Coping with COVID is streaming live on the uh, Facebook page or my Facebook page, Taylor Made Productions. That's the home of Coping with COVID. Please go over there, hit like and share. Not only will you be able to check out Coping with COVID every day that we're on the air, Wednesday through Friday at two o'clock, you can also get all of your COVID related updates. We're also streaming live on YouTube. Want to say hi to all of you YouTubers. Please hit the subscribe button. And we also have a presence on Instagram and on Facebook. Now, I told you about that In It Together website. We're also streaming live on the In It Together website. So, please, again, go over to the Edit Together website um, or the Edit Together Facebook page and uh, hit like and share so you can get up to up to date information from uh, those folks over there also. I'm Trey Taylor. want to remind you to continue to post and share this information out so we can get this message to the masses because a lot of people need some help with fitness. This has been a time where uh, people have been at the house, people have been eating, people have been cooking and uh, people need some help. So we are going to talk about that. James Patrick, the fitness guru joins us. He's a personal trainer and wellness coach specializing in exercise therapy. Tam B is also with us. Uh, Tam B Fitness has a health and coaching, health coaching and fitness training program that provides career minded women, a community and lifestyle approach to regain control of their health and bodies, improve self-confidence, boost self-esteem and transform their personal and professional lives. Thank you both so much for joining us. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. So James, I want to start with you first because you specialize in exercise therapy. I want to talk about that first because everybody is not at the same level. You know, people are yeah. you know, aging, people may have an injury, but they still want to get fit. So tell us about exercise therapy. Yeah, so um, exercise therapists are the people you come to after you're done with your rehabilitative program. Okay. So we uh, we connect with a lot of physical therapists, a lot of physical therapy um, uh, agencies, and so um, they filter some of their um, their own clients through us, um, so that they can have a continuous um, a program that includes movement, well-rounded exercise. Uh, and, and additional services. So exercise therapy helps you to maintain body balance. Um, if you've just come from a surgery, uh, that's that's where exercise therapy comes in. And it bridges the gap between the disability and, uh, and, and, and what makes you your own athlete. Yeah, that's good because uh, as people know, oftentimes when we're ill or recovering, we can just be pretty much in a vegetative state, you know? Right. Yeah, you just lay it out. And, just lay it out. Yeah, you, and you're not doing anything and then when you are totally healed, then you I think your physical health, because you have been sedentary, is even worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. And, and more so than that, uh, Trey, it's actually a person's mental health 
Yeah. Um, you know, our bodies were made to move. And so if you can imagine, I'm taking someone like you who is constantly active, moving right. around, right. having, a, you know, just a constant active lifestyle to take that away from you. Um, and to put you in a stationary point, I mean, that's going to really play on your mental health. So more than any aesthetic change, you're going to see a lot of mental health, uh, different changes within yourself. And, and will if it'll affect things and people around you. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit a little bit later about that mental health yeah. thing, because yeah. that is so important. Mm -hmm. But you know, I want to bring you in here because I know that you and James have worked together on the senior population. Yeah. And that's a population, too, that may need, they still need that physical fitness, but they're going to need something different than somebody else. Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, I, I don't know, James, was it like two, three years ago when I was able to uh, get that contract from you with the silver sneakers? And yeah. I had an amazing time training those women and men in the seasoned population. And what I found to be the most beneficial for them are really functional movements. Okay, let's lift our hands up to go into the cabinet. This is how you would squat to get in your car. So making it practical for them to yeah. understand, okay, we're not just moving, but we're being safe because these are everyday habits that you use in your home. And most of them, I forgot the lady's name, but she was like 86. Do you remember her? Yeah, and well, she me too. Yes, yes, and she was living at home on her own. So it was very important for her to know that these movements are what you would do to remain safe, getting the medicine out the cabinet and doing those everyday movements. And so doing that, of course, the seasoned population need additional support and making yeah. sure that they feel safe. Now they, they can do it. And it's just getting them to that level where they are able to do it more. And of course, my son <laughs> always wants to say, hey, he's not girl. camera shy. <laughs> I totally understand. I totally get it. I love that because if if my two were in school, they would be every. <laughs> I am just glad it happened to somebody other than me. That's all I can say. Every time I do live, he makes an appearance. So I'm used to it. <laughs> He's like, oh my God, I love it. But yeah, you talked about that senior population because they want to know too that, um, you know, they want a, a, a full quality of life. They want a full quality of life. And if they didn't move before, you know, and they've got some limitations, I believe they would want to know that they can still do something uh, to, you know, elongate or, or to, you know, to make their life be better, you know? Absolutely. And I think that's the most important thing when you are a seasoned individual. Movement is like the most important aspect for you, okay, and I know even younger populations, we want the body goals, we want all of the things, but for the seasoned population, I just want you to move better. And what I found absolutely amazing is that these women and men weren't really sure, I wasn't really understanding that they actually can move. And can as, they, as they become more active and consistent with the routine and doing the program, they were able to do a whole lot more. Some of them started walking. So when I would come in getting ready to, to start the training session, they would already be like, oh, we've done 8,000 laps already. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, already this morning. And of course they're up early. And yeah. so it was just amazing that as long as they kept moving, their attitudes were better. They were ready for the workout and they, they tried me. They tried me a couple of times. Like, that's all you got? James ah! would do it like this. <laughs> James wouldn't give us no break. I, oh, okay then. So I just enjoyed it. And once they found that, okay, we can do this. And they were, they were strengthening themselves and not comparing themselves to anyone else, but to who they were the week before, the day before. And when they started to get that confidence up, they were like, okay, give me the green band, give me the blue band. And it was, absolutely amazing to see the progression even in the seasoned population 
Right. Uh, Tam B, Tamara Brown is uh, joining us with Tam B Fitness. James uh, Patrick, the fitness guru, want to say hi to um, Nick Lewis. He's an amazing comedian out of the Charlotte area. He's doing so many things, got his own network. Thank you so much, Nick, for uh, stopping by to show support. Mitchell Peace Joy Jen says, movement is life. Use it or lose it. Absolutely. She also said being safe and intentional when exercising is important. And uh, she said that you're a great co-host, uh, <laughs> Tam. Uh, oh, thank you. Marvell Williams Mendenhall has a question. She wants to know, is it good to detox? Thanks, Marvell, for your question. James? Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> let me listen. I was, and in my head, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Detoxification um, has oftentimes been thought of as something that we do twice a year um, on special occasions uh, <laughs> before we put on our dresses at night to go to balls and all types of stuff. And what we're learning is that the body is always metabolizing. The body's always filtering. And so the body always needs to be going through some type of detoxification process. Um, detoxification doesn't have to be. And it, uh, also, for a long time, it's been thought of as being something that's aggressive on your stomach, something that's going to cause you to call out for work. Oh, I'm detoxing. I can't come in today. And right. that's not the way detoxification works. Mm -hmm. Detoxification starts, and Tamara would agree, it starts with the things that you eat, uh, more so than the supplements that you find on the market. It really? starts with the food. It really does. Your food is your yeah. healing power. And we have to start normalizing the idea that food is for healing, number one. That's the number one need for food. We need to heal and grow and build. Wow. Wow. What are chocolate chip cookies for? <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies are for when you're an adult and you have a long day. Because <laughs> they heal me. I, like I know that's right. I don't look like what I've been through because I eat chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> So listen, back to uh, back, but yeah, Marvel says, what type of food would you suggest? And that was gonna be my next question. Thank you, Marvel, for you being a good co-host. Yeah. You know, what food can you use to detox? Because I think people know, you know, we hear about this a juice or mm -hmm. a something mm -hmm. or something else, but how what's the best and safest way to detox that everybody can do and not be at, in the bathroom for the you know all for day? The rest of their lives. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you want to definitely start with your green leafy vegetables. Uh, and I think we can all agree that in the past couple of years, food has become a lot more weirder than it has ever been. Chicken tastes a little different. You find that a lot of the protein that you're, the consistency of food has changed. And so I really urge all my clients and anybody who listens to me um, to get more simple. Simplify your nutrition. Find out the things that your body needs. A If you're having a, a, a nutrient deficiency, your food is your go-to process. So um, starting off with your green leafy vegetables, make sure that you have a green leafy vegetable in every meal. Now that can be in a pureed form, whether you put it in your shakes, or you can add it as a side for your breakfast, as a side of spinach with some eggs, but have a green leafy vegetable on every, with every meal. Right. Mitchell Peace Georgia says eat clean. So, um, so, so you, and you agree with that, um, Tam, just every day, every day, as many times as you can, just eat some greens? Absolutely. So I, I personally don't, uh, you know, to my personal clients, I don't recommend that they go out in the stores and buy something that's like going to wipe their gut biome clean or anything <laughs> like that. When most women come to me and they're like, oh, I want to detox first. Well, I tell them, OK, well, make sure you're eating balanced meals as fresh. Fresh is best. If you can go fresh, go fresh. Right. If next thing's up, frozen. If not frozen, then you can get the can. So with, for me and, you know, I, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I don't like my vegetables. So I started <laughs> juicing. I just I started juicing. Oh. And then when I found out, yeah, I started juicing. And I was like, well, listen, I'm going to put it if I could put it and drink it. I, I can do it. And so I started juicing, but occasionally, you know, I still back down from the juice and still get the actual fresh fruits and vegetables in so that I get that fiber. A lot of times when people are, in my opinion, when people are thinking, oh, I want to detox, I want to detox. I think about digestive system. I think about cleansing the liver. So I'm doing beets. I'm doing high fiber, raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, those things that are going to really scrub the intestinal walls and filter out the blood so that you can your body can function in optimal health. I don't think pills, shakes, and potions because that's a quick fix. And once you learn how to eat a balanced meal, you'll feel better, you'll look better, and you'll want to do more. 
Yeah. Uh, Tamby Fitness, James Patrick. Gwen Taylor says, hi, my James. Thank you, Gwen. Hi, Gwen. <laughs> want you to guys go ahead and post and share this information out. It's the first of the year. A lot of people, you know, uh, one of the top New Year's resolutions is I'm going to get fit. And I, I think it's more than just something you need to say at the top of the year because i saw i heard you say something on the radio james that it's not something it's a lifestyle it's something you've got to one commit to doing but it's something you've got to do every day you're not going to wake up on january 1st and totally change your whole life it's not going to happen Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way, Trey. Not mad. <laughs> if, I mean, if that were the case, I would wish for a whole lot more January 1st every year, um, yeah. including a billion dollars and <laughs> the perfect body. Uh, but the reality of it is that we can't wait for a specific date to get things done. The sense of urgency that when it comes to your body, your health, your wealth, that has to be done with a sense of urgency. Now, it does need to be planned. You do need to have a plan. And that's where um, experts like Tamara come into play because they give you, the, they help you with the game plan. They help you right, cultivate right. those smart goals that you can uh, that you can take with you. When you have a foundation, you can take your house anywhere. And that's why I ooh. say all the time, the world, I ain't a, ooh, money bless you. Because <laughs> I always say, then that's say why that the world- again. Say that yeah, when, you have a, when you have a good solid foundation, you can take your home anywhere. Ah! <laughs> and that is why, and that's why- it's, <laughs> But it's so important. That's why the world is your gym. That's why the world is your gym, Tamara. That's why the world is your whoa, gym. And that's whoa, why it's so whoa. boom, 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 <laughs> hitting them all angles. But it, and that's why when you have those foundational skills, uh, it, it makes a better athlete. It makes you a better person. And you're able to adapt to different modalities of fitness in ways that you wouldn't have been able to prior to. Yeah. Right. Uh, In It Together, SC and the uh, Diabetes Advisory Council of South Carolina present In It Together every Wednesday here on Coping with COVID. It's Wellness Wednesday, and we're talking about getting fit at any age and any stage in your life. James Patrick, the fitness guru, and uh, Tamara Brown with Tamby Fitness join us. Uh, Nick Lewis wants to know, have either of you heard of the hot and cold water hydro detox for your entire body? Thank you, Nick, for your questions. Have y'all heard, heard of that? No, I have no. not. <laughs> yeah. I, I've heard of IV hydration, but I, I don't know about this hot and cold hydro detox, but then I don't know, James. I don't know. Now, if you're thinking of um, maybe he's talking about cryotherapy, and um, which is a, a process of when a person kind of takes their body temperature down and like they oh. submerge themselves in, in a freezer, basically, and they take their body temperature down. Now, what that'll do is it forces your metabolism um, and your most of the the major organs in your body to start working double time, and that will create a, a, a metabolic boost for you. Um, and then if you were, I would imagine if you go into the heat from the cold, that would create a you know a, 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 a almost like a thermogenic effect. And so yeah. when you're when, when we take thermogenics or fat burners, that um, that increases our metabolism to an extent, um, and it can the heat makes us uh, burn calories or burn heat. Calories are heat. So, I mean, that's the closest thing. Now, I don't know about drinking cold water and then drinking hot water. That's, that's the first thing I thought about. But <laughs> That's what I thought, but I don't, I don't know. Thank you, Nick, for your question. Gary Hunter wants to know, guys, how do you get, and this is, wow, how do you get your family to understand what you see for their health? You yeah. don't. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, and I, I've been in the fitness industry for, this is my 13th year. So, James, we're running like neck and neck. Yeah. And yeah. And so for, for the longest time, you know, I had to be consistent with my health, my routine, my eating habits for my family to be like, oh, she's not playing. This is serious. And the biggest thing was when I stopped cooking two separate meals, listen, either you're going to eat what I cook, we're all going to get on the same page, or you fend for yourself. So I don't, you can't convince anybody that you know, this is what I see for you, or this is the health goals, or this is what you can achieve. Because if they don't think it here, it's not going to show up anywhere else. And that goes for anybody at any age. Oftentimes I have clients who start enroll in a program and then all of a sudden they disappear. And I'm like, they, they weren't ready, but wow. then they'll come back with a whole, it's like a whole different person, a whole different mindset. And then, and I'm like, this is not the same person that I met last year. Right. And so you can't make anybody see anything for the for you know for themselves. You got they have to become aware and see where they want to go because 
nobody's going to value your transformation, your health like you. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? It's it's really um, unfortunate because I think people do, you know, when you love somebody, you know, you, you see them spiraling down, you know, and you want to say to them, but don't you love us enough to get your health together? Again, we're, we're talking about Wellness Wednesday and diabetes is a big thing in communities of color. And we know that diabetes can affect your lifestyle, your amputations, your sedentary. Yeah. I mean, you know, and you can say to your family, but we want you to be around. We want you to be able to participate. And they may want to, but, but if, like you said, Tam, if they're not ready, then you know, they're just not ready. Right. Mm -hmm. And that, that plays a major role on, you know, confidence. My, you know, I'm, I'm the fitness person in my family. And when I say, y'all come and work out with me, they're like, nah, you crazy. We're not doing all of that extra stuff. But just because that's the style of training I like, doesn't mean it's a great fit for you. And so I, I invite everybody to explore your options. Like everybody doesn't want to flip a tire punch a, bunk, uh, a boxing bag, right. do the battle ropes and stuff like that. And guess what? You don't. To me, that's fun. But for you, that's intimidating. So maybe you need to, you know, start with some cardio, maybe some resistance bands or light weights. And I think it's so very important that when we talk in terms of helping your family, I wait for my family to ask me because I don't want to if I have to mm -hmm. uh, pull you in, that means I'm going to have to carry you. I got yeah. enough weight on my own and I don't want to carry any more dead weight. So yeah. I think it's important for them to want to do it. When they want to do it, their actions will show it. And then they'll start the conversation between us will be different. Right, right. We're talking to Tamara Brown, Tamby Fitness, James Patrick, the fitness guru. James, what were you doing? Were you, were you sharpening a pencil just now? I just heard a pencil. <laughs> What are you doing, sir? <laughs> I'm trying to sharpen my pen. <laughs> well, that's what it sounded like. Listen, Nick Lewis. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Nick Lewis, who asked us about the hot pole. Huh? You're breaking up a little bit. He says, someone explained that you submerge your body in hot water hot water, then submerge your body in cold water, similar to what you, you said, and it caused the blood vessels and organs to open and close and then clean the entire body. Just checking to see if you've heard of that. Oh. Well, now, <laughs> I'm going to Google it. Form of cryo therapy and, uh, and, um, and uh, infrared therapy. So I can understand how that would work. Um, but I'm going to tell you the truth. There's just nothing that boils down better at Tamara than some good old hard work and some sweat and three to four meals a day. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, and yeah, because I, I like to eat. Me yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and there, there's, there's, listen, there's so many other ways to make, to meet your goals. There's, you know, technology has made it now so that, right. you know, literally lay down and, and get a body scan and come out, you know, with less body fat percentage than we had when we first came in. But I don't think anything, and I will always attest to this, that your health is your wealth and a body that continues to move will continue to remain active. A body that is in motion will continue to remain in motion. And it doesn't matter what pill or potion you decide to go with, you cannot outrun a bad diet and you can't outrun having bad foundational skills. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we're always looking for the quickest way to get to something. And it just I, you just got to do it. Like you said, you just got to do the work. J James Patrick, the fitness guru and uh, Tamara Brown with Tam B Fitness joins us. Uh, Jamal, I see your question and I'm going to wait to uh, ask your question when we get back from the break. I want to talk a little bit, James, about the massage therapy, because I know you offer massage therapy with your practice. How does that help with someone who wants to kind of get physically fit? Oh, my gosh. Well, massage therapy, um, I've been in, I've been in LMT since uh, 2008. Um, and, and I've really um, grown as a therapist in the past couple of years. And I've grown even more than that in the past eight months. Um, energy work. Energy work is, and, and we've talked about this before and before and before, Trey, you know, but the power of energy work is, is so influential yeah. um, person's aesthetics, on their mental. Um, and when a person is, when a person can come into a place 
and receive a service and take their stress level down. Stress causes inflammation in the body. And when there's inflammation in the body, there's going to create sickness is going to ensue very, very soon. So um, lessening inflammation is the main goal. Wow. Um, what I do with massage therapy um, is lymphatic drainage. And that is basically wow. uh, massaging the lymph nodes around the body. And you know, we have different lymph nodes all around our body, which help filter out all the bad stuff. Um, and, and so we don't have to deal with that on our, on our own. Um, so massaging um, the lymph nodes throughout the body is a great way to also detoxify and aid in that detoxification. Oh, wow. <laughs> Um, also, um, massaging helps to break up fatty tissue, um, which is another great um, additive to having a massage. Uh, so we always encourage our clients to get on that table. And as I say, get some table time in. It's very mm -hmm. beneficial for your mental as well as your physical. Wow. I don't think people realize how much a massage does. I mean, you, you're you saying it, it helps the detox, it breaks up the fatty, um, you know, the fatty tissue. Um, I mean, I think we think if my back hurts or I'm stressed out, let me get a massage, you know. So I'm so glad that we talked about how massage directly affects or helps, you know, the fitness piece. Uh, in it together and uh, the Diabetes Advisory Council of South Carolina present Wellness Wednesday, every Wednesday here on Coping with COVID. Uh, Tamara Brown with Tam B Fitness joins us along with James Patrick, the fitness guru. When we come back, we're gonna talk about mental health. This is a big thing with James, how that affects your physicality. And then we're gonna talk to Tam B. She specializes in women who are uh, working on their careers or immersed in their careers and how your health and your wealth directly correlate. We're also going to get up and do some movement. And then uh, Jamal Bates, I see your question. We're going to ask your question. That's coming up next on Coping with COVID. It's Wellness Wednesday and I'm Trey Taylor. We'll be right back. Coping with COVID and In It Together present Wellness Wednesday, brought to you by the Diabetes Advisory Council of South Carolina and DHEX Division of Diabetes and Heart Disease Management. Coping. Coping with COVID with Trey Taylor. People will be able to look 100 years from now. They will know how we got over. This makes it even more important that we shine this light. Part of it also wasn't the fact that we couldn't have the physical graduation, but I also couldn't celebrate with my family out of town. For me, I feel like this is a new normal. I, this is not going in a, a way anytime soon, I don't think. Anything that's happened before can happen again. And the same thing is at play with this virus. You know, we are no longer in a building, and we've talked about church being, you know, with us, in us. Have you traveled abroad late in the past six months? You know, we were trying to trace it back as early as November. In it together, SC and the uh, South Carolina Diabetes Advisory Council present Wellness Wednesday every Wednesday here on Coping with COVID. I'm Trey Taylor. Listen, if you want help uh, managing or preventing your diabetes, visit the In It Together website or Facebook page. As a matter of fact, uh, Dr. Nancy, uh, shoot, I just thought left lost her name right quick. There it is right there. <laughs> She has a, uh, she's a pharmacist and has a program to help you manage your diabetes or pre-diabetes. Please check out that uh, flyer and uh, register for the program that is coming up in February. It is uh, totally virtual. It's interactive. It's small group sessions. And this is a great way to jumpstart your health and your well-being and uh, keep it together as far as your diabetes is concerned. Check out the information on the screen and uh, information will be scrolling throughout the show. I'm Trey Taylor. I want to thank everybody for joining us. I want to say hi to Kat Davis. She says, great show. Enjoying their tips. Thank you so much, Kat, for uh, watching. I appreciate you, beautiful. Also, uh, Mitchell Peace Joy Jen says, build the foundation and build the person. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Please uh, continue to post and share this information out so we can get the message to the masses.
classes. We're talking to James Patrick, the fitness guru. Also, Tamara Brown with Tam B Fitness joins us. She has a health coaching and fitness training program for career-minded women. She builds a community and a lifestyle approach to help them regain control of their health and bodies, provide self-confidence, boost self-esteem, and transform their personal and professional lives. Tam, I want to start with you this time. How does the professional and physical relate? So your health and wealth is the health and wealth connection. Oftentimes, entrepreneurs, uh, highly ambitious, career-driven individuals forget about their health because they're secure in the bag. Right. If you understand how you do one thing is how you do everything, you'll find out where your deficits are. So in my programs and in my coaching and consulting with my clients, I believe one that all of the clients that I serve have a business in them or have another level to wow. them. And so what we do is we uncover and we uncover the barriers that's preventing them from going to that next level in their career or in their business. And we relate it to the fitness. So oftentimes when we get faced with a challenge, especially the challenge of flipping the tire when you come to my studio, the challenge of enduring past the burn, right? When you're doing that rep and you're like, oh my gosh, I feel this. How you do one thing is how you do everything. So are you telling me as a highly ambitious career driven person, the one that's going to secure the bag that you can't face challenges head on? That's not right. So the same skills, the characteristics, the traits that you need in the professional world, you need in the gym. And once they can make that correlation, boom, we're where the money resides now. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that that's so good. And that does correlate. And you don't think about that. I think we think of everything separately, but everything is related, you know, in our, in our health, like you said, in our lives, in our professional and personal lives. Um, let's talk about how you help build, because another thing that you say is you help build and improve self-confidence and boost self-esteem. Now, here's the thing about that. I, I, I was talking to... Um, uh, a, a t some twins today. I'm going to do their show in a couple of weeks. These twins are highly, both of them are doctors, but they grew up because they were twins with a speech impediment because they communicated with each other. So to make a long story, probably even longer, but going to try to make it short. They were put in remedial classes because they had created this language between them. So they went through remedial classes all their lives. When they finally broke free, again, they weren't stupid. They were highly intelligent. These brothers are doctors, but they had been told that they had a problem. You know what I mean? Wow. So I, I, I want to talk a little bit about self-esteem and, and, and self-confidence because I, I I know I still deal with that fat little girl with glasses and braces. She's still down in there and I've got to beat, beat her down, you know, for her rearing her ugly head. But we on this goes to the mental health piece, James, I know you like to talk about. But I think we all have most people. I can't speak for everybody have that little thing that we dealt with, whether it was yesterday or back in the day that continues to show up in our lives. So girl, I just want to know how you get it out. I want to know how I need to be healed. So I think oh man. So confidence and self-esteem for someone who struggled in the past with low self-esteem and confidence issues, it's recognizable in your posture, in your face, mm -hmm. when you walk through the door. And so because I've struggled with that, dealt with that in the past, when I see someone approach me and they tell me I'm ready to get my, my, my physical under control, I always want to ask them, have they owned their imperfection? Wow. Because if you're okay with being the little girl with the glasses <laughs> or what the speech impediment, Nobody can't use that against you. Right. And I relate that to the fitness piece because honestly, when you achieve a goal, you lose 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 100 pounds, lift something heavy, throw something heavy. That's a heightened sense of self-efficacy. Yeah. I can do anything. Yeah. I tell women all the time, if you can lose weight, if you can keep it off, baby, you can do anything because this is this is challenging. Yeah. And so when women are able to achieve goals and set new goals and keep achieving goals, and get into that routine of, you can't tell me that your confidence is not going to increase. And oftentimes, highly uh, career-driven or successful uh, individuals 
try to hide behind the company or the brand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. When I first started in my business 12 years ago, I didn't want my picture on no flyer because <laughs> I didn't think I made the mold. So right. as I continue to work on that and I continue to get my confidence up because I can live this in the gym. I can run this. I look like this. I don't look like what I used to. My confidence increased. And yes, now I want to be center on the flyer. Yes, spell my name right. Because that <laughs> confidence increases and it carry over. It carries over to other areas of your life. So if you get into the gym and oftentimes people come with the mindset that if this is not going to work or I can't be consistent or anything like that. Listen, if you've made it and you've got a, a degree, if you've made it and you've climbed the corporate ladder, you can do this. Mm. It's, mm. it's the same thing. Channel that energy that James talked about in those chakras and that massage into a different area. Because how you do one thing is how you do everything. You have the skills. You just need to make the correlation to a different area in your life. Yeah, I love that. I love that, Tam. Uh, what What do you have to say about that, James? Oh my gosh! I mean, I could say the same thing, piggybacking yeah. on what she just said. I think that um, your lifestyle interdigitates itself, you know, professionally and personally. And so, uh, we also have to keep in mind that the brain loves patterns. Yeah. You know? Oh wow. You know what I mean? And if it can, if it can stay in a place of familiarity, uh, then that's what we're going to do it's comfortable and it's it, those that box is is safe and it's it's where I it's what I know right um, and and that goes for self esteem um it goes for anybody who is um in a in a stagnant place emotionally or mentally um and that's why coaches are so important because we're designed we we want to create a program that takes you out of that comfort zone i think it comes from accepting that you need to be out of that comfort zone understanding your disabilities and i think we could all take a time take some time to just be more honest with ourselves yeah. and we need help with and our accountability and understanding that you know hey i don't know how to do this or i don't know how to break through that emotional or mental barrier um at our studio we have a psychologist on staff and she wow. One of the first faces you meet virtually at this point, but she uh, basically helps bridge that gap between creating smart goals and and um, and what a client says they want. So a Tamara um, mentioned earlier about you know someone wanting to tone or wanting to well, how are we going to get there? Well, we're gonna we're gonna lift these weights. Well, I have a bad relationship with the gym. How can we create smart goals to? get you into having a better relationship with the gym, with food, and ultimately having a better relationship with yourself. Because let's face it, if I'm not healed, I can't expect to help heal you. Yeah, 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 that's so good. And and I think, like I said, we all have something, but I love that you say, Tam and James, celebrate the little victories, you know, the, the little things, like you said, the lifting the weights or the throwing the tire or what, whatever you're able to do, little thing, those things help you build your confidence so that you can continue on your path to your fitness. And, and I would say that to anyone, you know, watching, because again, this, uh, this you know, Wellness Wednesday is sponsored by uh, In It Together SC and the Diabetes Advisory Council of South Carolina. And diabetes, like I said, is such a debilitating um, condition, but it doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to be diabetes, <laughs> you know, diabetes can have you, you don't have to be it. You can move where you are. And let's talk about that a little bit, Mo doing what you can where you are. Now, people, a lot of people are home, as you said, you, you both are doing virtual classes. Everything. Like you get so creative at home with your sofa, your your dining room table. I mean, water bottles. Everything now becomes a weight to me, okay. or okay. some type of exercise that I can do. Mm -hmm. uh, what about up and down your stairs? I've got three flights, so up and down, up and down is good. Absolutely, it's the bomb. <laughs> Cause I'm up and down, up and down all day. So should I be in people who have stairs? Should they just make it a point to go up and down, up and down a couple of times a day? Yeah, I, I agree. So I love doing stairs. If you, if, if you see me ever at the gym, I'm on the stairs. I can be downtown at the stairs here at my house though. Um, if my kids are downstairs, I'm gonna call them. But for everybody at home, if you are looking to get that cardio in, I'd say go up and down the stairs. It's absolutely great. I actually use my stairs 
my stairwell as a, um, like where I do my uh, tricep dips, that's what it's called. So I do, I can sit on the bottom of the steps and do my tricep chip. Remember Trey, we talked about working that yes, tricep. Bro, yes, that bro, I, I, sit, <laughs> I sit on the bottom of the stairs and do those. I skip stairs, right? I get so creative at home, especially when we were like on lock, lock down. I had to get really creative at home with everything that I had, including water bottles, stairs, chairs, you name it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you're saying, and I, James has said this too, you know, just pick up, like you said, cans, whatever, use your stairs. What about walking? Is is walking, can you really, can you get as much from a power walk as you can from just a leisurely walk? Um, I would say uh, you can get, uh, so you can and you can. Mm -hmm. um, it depends on what you're going for. Right. Um, so I, I enjoy, say, at this point, when I lift weights, it's not really for anything but for a uh, therapeutic release. Um, yeah. So whatever your goal is, is how you need to framework your, your workout. Um, if power walking is something you do in the middle of the day because you don't have a lot of time, you want a 30-minute break, your kids are still in your house and they're acting crazy and they cannot be left more than 45 minutes. <laughs> power walk is just, it's for you to decompress. Right. It's your, time. It's your therapy time. You're not going to get, you know, a thousand calories burned by doing that power walk. But that doesn't mean that it's not a step toward the progress that you're gotcha. trying. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what about um, biking or whether whether it's actual biking or stationary bike? Because I have a stationary bike. Tam has a bunch of stationary bikes. I got a, I got a real, I got the bike bike. <laughs> I, I love biking. I believe it's easier on my knees than like running. So occasionally I do get a tired of the steps. I want to hit the bike. Listen, that bike will whoop your behind if you let it. And then, of course, if you have the stationary bike, you can uh, make it more resistant. So it's like you're going up a hill. James got a bike bike, like a huffy, almost like a Schwinn or something like that. Yeah. And he gonna actually go up the hill. But if you're at home and you have a bike, get on it adjust that resistance and ride. You can change your position on the handlebars. I mean, you can create, I can sit right here and watch TV riding that bike. And yeah, that's true. Sweating off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I actually lost, uh, and I, I tell the story, so I probably should tell it more, but I lost 65 pounds when I was like 11 years old. Yeah. My mom had a bike that I used to go on and it was yellow and brown. It was a, <laughs> And I, I mean, that's, I sat on that bike for, I mean, at least 20, 30 minutes a day for about three days a week. And I mean, I think that's probably where my bike love came from, but um, COVID really bought my bike out of the attic. Mm. I mean, out of the attic. And I was like, this is, this is my thing right now. And yeah, it's such a great release. Yeah. We're talking to uh, James Patrick, the fitness guru, Tamara Brown, Tam B Fitness. Jamal Bates had a question. If we can go up to Jamal Bates question, because I want to get his question in. Uh, he wants to talk about reversing diabetes with a changed diet. We need to get more info uh, in our community and get people off meds. I, I, I agree with you, Jamal. Thank you so much for uh, the question. Either one of you guys want to... Um, you know, chime in. I, I'll say this. I'll tell you. And I t told Tam this before um, we went on the air about two years ago, I had to change. And I mean, I'm already a vegetarian, but I had to really restrict eating a lot of things because I had too high, ac too high of an acid diet. It was too acidic. So the acid was actually searing off my vocal cords. I was very hoarse. Um, so I had to just eliminate. I could either go on meds for the rest of my life or change my diet. I had to eliminate a lot. I ended up losing a lot of weight, which was not what I was trying to do. But at the time, I was pre-diabetic. Those daggone chocolate chip cookies, I was pre-diabetic. But then I've got it in my family line. And when I stopped, when I stopped eating all of that other stuff, you know, I it it you know I was no longer pre diabetic. Um, I think it was um, my pressure went down. You know, so there is something to you can get off meds by changing what you eat. Absolutely, Tammy. I, I oh. agree. Oh yes, absolutely. So I agree. So James in the beginning of the broadcast said, you know, food is healing. Yeah, I believe that you need to change the narrative. Oftentimes we go to the physician and they tell us, boom, you need this yes. to control this. And one pill leads to another pill. And next thing you know, you got 13 pills that you're taking every yes. day. 
You have to take control and ownership. And that involves doing your own research for you. Also getting help if you need help. Oftentimes what I'm finding in a lot of the uh, clients who come to me who may be pre-diabetic or diabetic is they weren't moving. They were very sedentary and they live off of fast food. Now DoorDash, Uber Eats. Right. And they their, their body is starving of nutrients. Notice that I, I didn't say their body is starving for food of nutrients. Of nutrients. So yeah. Yeah, they're, they, they might be getting the calories in, but what about your vitamins? What about your minerals? What about your macros? We have to start looking at our health as a whole instead of I got this over here, but I'm gonna still work on this over here. No, everything is connected. And when you start eating for your goals and training for your goals, things change. Your yeah. body starts to align. I believe that everything, it, everything has a, a cure. We just yeah. may not be aware of it. We don't have to take what the physician tell us. And we're grateful for physicians. We're glad they went to school and they can help us. But listen, we're not going to write that story. See, I struggled with high blood pressure after I had my son. I was hospitalized. My physician told me, she said, Tamara, it runs in your family. This is something that you are going to have to learn how to manage. And I told her, ma'am, I need you to go ahead and release me so I can do what I know to do. And I got myself, before I opened back my studio, I got back into the gym. I got back into my nutritional habits, the good habits. They sent me home on three different blood me pressure medications. I'm not taking any. Right. And it does. It does run in my family, but it stopped with me. Yeah, I hear. And you can you can break that generational curse. Absolutely. You can do it. And, and, and you can still eat good and it still tastes good. And I still eat good. I promise you I do. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and it takes such, but it, ta it takes the willpower of understanding that um, there is a life and there is a world outside of the habitual prescriptions that yeah. we've been given. Um, and also understanding statistics. Look, you, you can fight me on opinions, but you can't fight me on facts. When we look at statistics and how African-Americans and minorities are, um, are uh, predisposed uh, to a lot of uh, um, health issues based on <clears throat> the history of food that we've been eating, um, also, understanding that um, African Americans, specifically African American women, um, go uh, undiagnosed with so many. Yeah. And myself, having bipolar disorder, um, for instance, I had gone to three different doctors two years before I got diagnosed, and they literally just, it was generalized anxiety, generalized anxiety. It's fine. It's, there's nothing wrong. Breathe. And, and it took going to right. um, a, a doctor who wanted to listen. And uh, actually take notes to give me the correct diagnosis. Um, now, I'm not going to tell you anybody to get off of their medication. Just right. Turkey, but what I will say is that that is not the only answer. That's right. That's it's, right. The biggest healer is going to be you putting your step the one step forward um, yeah. in control of your health. I'll tell you when I went when I went through to the doctor and I went through that and I asked him. Why didn't you suggest that I change my eating habits before you, you told me, right? Before you told me I'd be on medication all my life, he said because most people don't want to stop eating what they're eating. He said yeah. most people don't want to do it, so I, I prescribed medication. I was like, I ain't trying to be on medication all my life for, for something I can change, you know. And like you said, it goes back to what matters to you. Do you matter enough to you? Do you matter enough to you? Let's get up and do some movement. And then we want to talk about, and we can just talk about the mental health thing while we're doing it. Yeah. And, and um, I'm up. We, are we going to look? Are we going to stand up or are we going to sit up? And, <laughs> oh, what are we like, doing? Tamara, <laughs> what, we didn't come up with the A count, Tamara. I mean, we. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm about to slide this kitchen table back, baby. I'm about to be ready. You hear me? <laughs> All right. Don't hurt him, Hammer. Look. I <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Tam, you want to take a couple of moves and then I'll take a couple? Yeah, sure. All right, everybody. Get up. Let's do some something. I don't I don't know. Should we dance, James? You know, we both oh, like to dance. Yeah. Can you hear my music in the background? I don't know if you can hear it. No. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so we got a little, so we can tap it in. There you go. That's right. Come on. And listen. All right. Step you know, inside. You get a personal trainer to tell you to two step. <laughs> you don't need a fitness coach. Come on. To move your body. 
what your mom and your grandma did every Saturday while they were cleaning the house. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So you're you saying you can even turn you on the music and have just a little dance party. That's, That's it. I love to dance. I love to get my hands in the air. Right? Everything works as long as you're moving. That, Trey, look at you got moves. All right, Trey. <laughs> I'm going to let Trey. Trey has danced me under the table quite a minute. <laughs> Don't you girl, girl, I used to be a dancer. <laughs> Look at Jay. Oh, give me those quads. Hey, I always like to throw a squat in the mix when I dance because I think it's important to squat and bring it up. Squat hey, and bring it up. Hey, squat and bring it up. You get real fast to drop it like it's hot. Drop, drop it like it's hot. Oh, drop it like it's hot. Lunch, <laughs> oh, Tamara. How about a? Uh oh, show them them quads, James. Show the leg, show the leg, show the leg. Ow. Uh, 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 uh. That's right. That's right. You don't need a motivator to tell you to do the Y2C. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Not the Y2C. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, that's what we're going to do? Look, I never could do that. <laughs> Listen, I love it, especially now that we're home a little bit more because of COVID. Right. Everything is for grabs. All the space. That's now, is there a best time to do it? Should you do this in the morning or at night? Is there a better time? All Whenever day. you feel like it. What is meditation? Meditation is focusing on your breath, finding a focal point, and finding the happiest part of yourself in that moment. And that's what dance is. Okay. All day, any day. Whenever you're frustrated, just do a bankhead bounce. <laughs> Right. Ooh. <laughs> any movement, any movement is good movement. Doesn't matter. A lot of people tell me I can't dance. Lies. You can get up and move. Right. Whatever way your body goes. And I love to dance. Dancing is one of my most favorite types of cardio outside of the step. Rashonda hey, Brad, hey. look at my people. <laughs> hey, Rashonda. I'm trying to come dance with us. Let's go, Rocho. <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's it you having a bad day just turn some music on put your headphones in bob it out uh. and you can play any kind of music right guys i mean gospel music. that's right any kind any kind i do gospel country rap doesn't matter jamal if it has up. a nice beat now get up jamal <laughs> get up jamal come on Yeah, that's good. And you can do this with your kids, right? Yes. Yes. Now, and how long should you do it? Now, I mean, is this a 15-minute thing? 15 minutes. And you know what? There's no time limit to finding your therapy. If right. Only less. Listen, in between my clients, sometimes I put on my own music. And I just dance around the studio for about 75 seconds or until the car a car pulls up. And I <laughs> until the door opens. Put my mask on, say hello, and I feel so much better. Yeah, and Absolutely. that's so good, Jane. Because while we're dancing, let's go ahead and talk about the mental health thing. Because you know, it could be as small as, like you said, you just having a minute, or it could it could grow to be bigger. And and you know, I think it's such a stigma, particularly in our community. But a yeah. lot of people are having mental health issues, especially now with COVID. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna watch y'all. I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do the um I'm gonna do a, a bankhead bounce sitting down. Okay. Um, mental health is so important. Yeah. Great way to and here's the thing. Psychological psychologists, counselors, therapists, they're so backed up right now, Trey. And you probably know they're so yeah. backed up right now, they have so much on their plate because people are dealing with mental health issues that are so foreign to them. I have literally talked. I, I, I talked to a friend of mine. You know, guys, we don't we don't ever have to express our feelings. We're fine. And I've had more men to contact me about their mental health issues, mental health issues they never thought they had, they didn't think existed. Wow. 
people didn't think mental health existed before March of 2020 are now dealing with those same mental health issues. And there are people out there who don't think, who didn't think it there was it was such thing as having a mental health issue. And we're all being exposed because we've had so many envi environmental factors um, affecting us. So um, taking steps to take control of your mental health. And listen, Tamara can agree with me. You can't get anything done until your mental health is at a stable point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. Absolutely. It's not yeah. going to, you're going to go into a cyclical trend. So finding an appropriate coach that meets your needs and is able to take you outside of your box is the best thing for you. Linking up with a group of people who maybe you have a group of women in your neighborhood who like to walk. Maybe right. you have friends who like to ride bikes. Diversify your fitness. Get out. Get more inclusive with uh, with the things that are going on around your community. And you're going to find yourself feeling so much happier for no reason. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I agree. It's such a big problem, but but I and I just want people to recognize it's nothing wrong with first you got to admit it, you know, and then get the help you need because it is it can be debilitating. Oh my goodness! Oh it my can god! Stop your whole life, and like I said, it could be something as small as you're having a bad day, but if you don't, you know, keep it in check, yeah. it could be a whole thing. You're having a bad week, a bad month, you know, yeah. you're snapping at people, you're, you know, crying, you're binge eating, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, very important, and I'll say this, Trey, uh, it's important for us to start giving our emotions um, their own uh, identity, but not yeah. not compartmentalizing them into, every, into one big emotion. Right. You know, you're a little... Right at your job you're a little frustrated with your kids you're a little but those two are two totally different issues. and understanding what the root of those issues is and what the root of, will help you understand your so it's a great time to self-discover it's a great time to explore and it's a good time to step outside and get uncomfortable get comfortable with getting uncomfortable. yeah 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 uh tam b fitness you can see the information on the screen please reach out to her tam tell us about the classes that you are offering now so i offer a variety of classes in studio to a limited capacity as well as in the virtual space um, we do everything from metabolic training um strength training at least two to three times a week as well as we come up with individualized plans and nutrition programs for all of our clients who are committed to taking their health and their bodies to the next level so i offer a variety of service from group to semi-private to as well as individual services it really just uh, it's up to that person, and I determine what program you need. You're not going to come to me and tell me what you need. I'm going to tell you what you need, okay? And so right now, we offer, um, even in virtual or in the studio for our semi-private training, you can go to our website, tambfitness.com. Your first three sessions are free because I want to make sure that before you commit, that it is a great fit, that we are a great fit for each other, and that I know that I can help you get from where you are to where you want to be. Awesome. Awesome. You see the information on the screen about Tan B Fitness and James, how can uh, people connect with you and what are you offering? Yeah, well, you know, everything we offer is um, offered in studio and virtual. Um, all of our classes uh, take place um, 5.30 a.m. and 5.30 p.m., 6 p.m. as well. I've got a dip, bunch of different classes going on, Trey. We just rolled out a new class. Um, a new hit class, which is a high intensity interval training program. Um, really fun class. Dance fusion. Uh, we got something for everybody. We got twerk Tuesday. We got dance fusion. We have boot camps. Um, and yeah, of course, we offer personal training. Um, personal training you can find on my website as well as um, all my other services. And we're just looking forward to helping people get into a place where they can help other people. That's right. Awesome. Awesome. All right. James Patrick, the fitness girl, Tamara Brown, Tambi Fitness. Thank you guys so much for all of the great information that you shared. I just appreciate having an open, honest conversation uh, because people can transform their lives. It, it, it's not a pie in the sky thing. It's not something that's unattainable. People can do it. You just have to know that you're worth it. 
and you've got Tam and James that can help you navigate through it. James, do you have your Jesus calling handy? Do, do you want me to show it to you? No, I want you to read today's. Can you read it? Oh my God, hold on. <laughs> Tam, are you familiar with Jesus calling? I am not. Oh, it's a great, great, great devotional. I've got to get you one, girl. It doesn't matter. Whenever you read it, it's going to be speaking something for you. You got your Jesus <laughs> It's Listen good. Up. All right. Get, get today's out or get it. Doesn't matter if you get today's or your favorite one out while I close out the show. Listen, if you have a story that can help someone cope with COVID, please uh, go to uh, the TaylorMade production page and inbox me. I would love to feature your story or your initiative. If you have a, a product or service that can help someone cope with COVID, please email copingwithtraytaylor at gmail.com. The information is scrolling. And we would love for you to be a proud sponsor, just like uh, SCD Heck, the uh, City of Columbia Office of Business Opportunities, Agape Counseling and Training Center, uh, which would be a great resource for you, as we talked about today, if you ha are having some challenges and also also Palmetto Media Connections. Also, SC uh, In It Together and also the South Carolina Diabetes Advisory Council, they sponsor uh, Coping with COVID every Wednesday for Wellness Wednesday. So please don't forget to go to the In It Together Facebook page for more information. And also they have got a uh, new um, seminar that's coming up, a virtual seminar that you can uh, participate in. You can see the information on the screen right now if you want help managing your diabetes or your pre-diabetes. Now, coming up tomorrow, uh, the NAACP has a housing program. If you're having some challenges with your housing, whether it's rent or mortgage, uh, Ovetta Glover is going to join us from uh, the NAACP. And then over in Denmark, Deanna Miller is uh, running for the mayor of Denmark. We're going to talk to both of them tomorrow. And then Faith Friday, we're going to continue with our New Year, New You series, Developing Goals and Finding Career Success in a Pandemic. Betty Parker is amazing, and she is going to share with us. That's coming up tomorrow, or this Faith Friday on Coping with COVID. As usual, I leave you with a reading from Jesus Calling, but I didn't. I don't have it right here. It's back in my office. So I asked James to give his. So James, you can you you can read today's or whatever one is is good for you. Well, let me first say I always tell people this. Trey gave me this Bible. <laughs> she must have known what I was about to. <laughs> she knew. <laughs> I appreciate her for this Bible. Um, so today's uh, today's reading uh, comes from um, John fourteen and one fourteen. Um, chapter verses one and two and Proverbs chapter three, verses five and six. Oh, I feel like I'm in Sunday school. <laughs> um, if you would all uh, read with me, please. Uh, trust, <laughs> trust is a golden pathway to heaven. When you walk on this path, you live above your circumstances. My, meaning God's, glorious light shines more brightly on those who follow his path of light. Dare to walk on the high road with me, for it is the most direct route to heaven. Amen. The low road is criterious, twisting and turning in agonizing knots. There, there, uh, there the air hangs heavy and dark, ominous clouds predominant. Relying on your own understanding will weigh you down. Trust me absolutely, and I will make your path straight. In other words, stop going in the same circles that you've been on and follow that yellow brick road to Jesus, okay? Hey man, I didn't even read this morning. That's so good. I'm so glad you told me because I didn't read mine this morning. I came in front of Right. Yeah, I've got to read it every day. James, thank you so much for um for joining us. Thanks for reading. Tam, thank you so much for joining us too. I appreciate you. you both. Thank you guys too for joining us for uh, coping with COVID. Until the next time, we all wish you peace, abundant blessings, great health, wealth, and success. And please wear your mask over your nose and under your chin. <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs>